What's good YouTube, it's the Sports Guru, finally back with another video, and I know it's been a while, but I was just like, you know what, screw it, dude, I'm gonna go ahead and make a video today. Um, <laughs> basically, it's been a while since I've made a video, and the last time I made a video, I think, was in the preseason, uh, back when we were playing the Beijing Ducks, so, yeah, it's quite a while, though. A lot of things have happened, there's been some ups and downs, yeah, Dallas... At its high point was 15 and 11. Looks like they were going to be a legit playoff team, maybe a fifth or sixth seed at its highest. But you know they finally came back down to earth. There were some injuries. Dennis was out for a while, which who we're going to be talking about. So yeah, pretty much Luca has been amazing. I mean I don't think anybody else could could have predicted this. Not even the biggest Luka Doncic fans. I mean 20 points per game on the dot now. Um, the dude the dude probably should be an all star. I really think he should. Um, if, if if not a bench player, a, like a wild card. I think he'll definitely be in it. But um, basically, this video is about Dennis Smith Jr. And I'm going to put this out here. I'm not going to be biased about this trade. Now, if you're a Suns fan and you disagree, feel free to comment down in the comment section. Or if you're any other fan and you think it's fair, we can I'll comment with you and we'll talk about that. So basically, I, uh, I was looking at some salaries and stuff. And I was looking at team needs. Now, of course, there's some downsides to the trades for both sides, but so let's go ahead and get into this. Let's start off with Dennis Smith Jr. He's a guy they drafted in 2017, the ninth overall pick, somebody I still believe in and love, but he's taken a while to develop, especially on the offensive end. Now, on the defensive end, he's really came to surprise. I mean, he's really focused on defense this year, and that's a bright side for the Suns. If you're looking at this, if, looking at this from the Suns and say you got a typical fan saying, well, Dennis doesn't do anything else. He doesn't really have skill or anything like that, you're wrong. If you've seen Dennis play this year, his defense has insanely improved. If you see how the way he finesses around screens, because he's not a big guy. He's not going to power through screens. He's found a way to study the game and really finesse around screens, which is huge. Um, he's had a, quite a few highlights, a nice, nice, nice block against the Clippers, a game-winning block. He locked up Paul George, made the game-winning bucket in that game. He's got heart. He's got a, he's got a, a knack for big-time shots, too, and that's what I love about Dennis. Dennis isn't afraid of the moment. Now, yes, he is hesitant to do things, so I'm just putting this disclaimer out there. His little, um, there's some downfalls to Dennis right now. You know, he's a point guard, a very, very young second-year point guard. He's not De'Aaron Fox, who just came in, you know, had a kind of, I wouldn't say disappointing rookie season, but some, there was a lot of questions leaving with his playmaking ability, but really bursted on the scene and could possibly win the most improved player award in his second year, which is quite amazing. But Dennis is taking time on offense, unlike defense. You know, he's, um, to be honest, his three-point shots quite came along. He's a good catch-and-shoot three-point shooter. Um, he's not that great off the dribble from three, but especially from the corner, his catch-and-shoots from the corner are quite amazing. So that could be a nice duo with him and Booker. But one thing he struggled with, struggles with is the pick and roll when he comes off a screen and shoots the mid-range. Now that's something that bothers me a little bit, or when he takes it to the lane, you know, he doesn't really make up his mind quick enough. He's got the talent. He wants to be great. He's not physically gifted in the way in terms of wingspan and stuff like that. So I'm trying to tell y'all, you know, Dennis is good at certain things, but he, and he has his downfalls, basically. I mean, he's such a great talent. I still believe in him, but I don't think Dallas really wants to wait on Dennis. You know, is he worth the wait? Can you go get an asset right now for him? So we're going to go ahead and start getting into the trades. I matched up the salaries, and I think it's good to go. So this is my trade. It's a two-for-two two swap. And it might be a little too much for the Suns to give up, but it is Dennis Smith Jr. and Devin Harris. I'm, my problem with Dallas, Dallas might – Hit the price for Dennis might be higher be due to the fact that J.J. Barea just tore his Achilles, and he's pretty much the heart and soul of the Dallas Mavericks besides Luka. He pretty much runs that whole second unit. So this is where Dallas probably might, might not do this deal. But if you're trying to build around Luka right now, I would want Mikel Bridges. And since, basically, you lost J.J. Barea, I would want DeAnthony Melton. So that's the thing. You get the first round pick and the second round pick this year, besides Elia Kobo, who was a late first. So you're getting a very, very three, very, very good three and D guy to put around Luca for a long time. Now I'm not sure how you Suns fans value him. If you were the GM, let me know. I really, really like Mikael Bridges. You're talking about a dude who, if he can develop even a little bit off the dribble, man, this dude could be something else. But. 3 and D wise, I expect him to be a, if like a Danny Green possibly. He, I mean, the dude can play ball, and I love him. 
Also with DeAnthony Melton, he can fill the stat sheet. He just did it the other night. He was putting up stats before he got fouled out. I really like him. So Dallas would definitely need a guard exchange because they just lost um, J.J. pretty much for the season, if not for his career, because he's um, up in the age now. I think he's 34. And Dennis basically... That's two guards out the window plus Devin Harris in this trade. Maybe you put Ryan broke off in instead of um, Devin Harris, but then you would just have Jalen Brunson by himself. Now Dallas has been running starting lineups without a point guard, pretty much Luca running point guard at the four, and having a bunch of big guys with Maxi and DeAndre in there with um, Wes and Harrison. So. Basically, you wouldn't need a point guard in the starting unit. So Jalen Brunson and DeAnthony Milton, because Rick Carl likes to run two guards together off the bench. So that's pretty much how they get their offense going. And DeAnthony Milton's definitely a guy I'd like to see develop a little more. I think, I'm not sure how much y'all are in love with him, but Dallas definitely wants to build around Luka at this point. I really believe they do. I mean, I don't think Dallas really wants to get rid of Dennis, but if the right offer comes, they will take it. Now, Mikel Bridges would be a perfect fit around Luka. Luka is, as much as I love that dude, Luka is a horrendous defender. I mean, you can anybody can blow past him. I mean, he's like a big man guard to guard out there every time. So if you have a Mikel Bridges out there who is going to be a well-capable defender, that is going to be big time for Luka. Now, the problem with the Suns maybe acquiring Dennis, you know, you already have a smaller guard in Devin Booker who struggles defensively. Maybe you're looking for a true playmaker, and that's not what Dennis is. You know, he's a good catch-and-shoot player. It depends on how much you believe Devin Booker is going to be. You know, maybe take on a James Harden type role. You know, you didn't know he had that much passing ability. And Devin hasn't been a bad playmaker. It's just how... How good of a playmaker will he be? Would you want somebody who can, you know, really be along the side and move the rock really well, you know? But that is definitely an interesting trade to me. So Dallas would get DeAnthony Melton and Mikhail Bridges. Basically, Dennis and Mikhail would be the two cornerstone players in that trade. It's a swap, the ninth pick for what was originally the tenth pick by the Sixers and Mikhail Bridges. Um, I think it's definitely interesting. I, I think that both teams should consider it. The salaries match up. Um, basically, they would either ship broke off or Devin Harris, and it's 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 not a big contract. Maybe a team would have to take on a contract or something like that to go with it. I think this is a good team, a good trade for both teams. I think Dennis has a lot of upside, and the Suns are a team that I don't think they're trying to really hurry things. You know, you locked up Devin Booker for a long time. You got eight now. Then you got a high flyer in Dennis who really wants it bad. I tell you what, that kid wants it bad. If anything, that dude wants it. You see him putting in that effort defensively, and it's insane. He's became a complete different player defensively. He's so aware. He's an effort player. You know, he comes up with big time plays on the defensive end, and he'll he can shoot the lights out at times. I think he's a good. He's a player that could really develop into a good player. I just don't think Dallas is willing to wait on that. I think they want to surround Luca mainly. Luca put some good defenders around him. Some good. I think they really want him just running the show out there, basically. And Mikael Bridges would be a perfect fit with Luka. So if you're just a fan or a Phoenix fan or a Dallas Mavericks fan, tell me what you think about this trade. I think it's a pretty cool trade. But yeah, man, I just decided to make a video. I might start making some more, but leave a like and subscribe. I'm out.